Okay, land use controls and regulations. Um, for broker and salespersons, I would say you'll have uh, four test questions um, around this topic. And here's what we've got for an outline. Uh, we've got government rights in land, um, which this is going to be uh, property taxes and special assessments. So property taxes, I'm sure you all are familiar. Um, however, as a review, uh, what happens is your uh, municipalities, local, county, state get together and they create a master budget or a comprehensive plan of everything that they need to afford in their budget, paying police officers, uh, parks, stoplights, um, filling in these three bedroom, two bath townhomes that we get after the winter uh, when the snow plows break up our roads. Um, all those things um, go into this big budget. Then they take property uh, owners and they estimate an assessed value and they create a formula to charge you property taxes, okay? And then you pay property taxes um, to support all these things. <coughs> Excuse me, including schools, um, a list of all these things. Um, so that is kind of a set property tax. You get a property tax notice every year. Then a special assessment is very similar to a tax, um, but it's special in the sense that not everybody gets it. Um, and it's usually for a certain project. So let's say the city decides to come through on your street and read you all the crumbling sidewalks. Woohoo! But if it doesn't fit into their comprehensive plan and their master budget, they could pass on that fee to all the people that benefit, all the homeowners that benefit from that sidewalk, divide it by that number of homeowners, and then you each get a special assessment. Okay, so that's a tax above and beyond. Um, I absolutely think you're going to have an eminent domain question. And this is when the government acquires private property for public use. And a very common type of eminent domain happens when we have all this road work done. So anytime we take a two lane highway uh, to a four lane highway, there's probably eminent domain uh, where the Department of Transportation, for example, had to go to each of those landowners on both sides of that highway expansion and offer to buy a sliver or lanes worth um, of land from them, okay? There is a policy called um, an effect where they have to give you a fair price for it, um, but it is, again, government acquiring property for public use. And again, we see that a lot, a lot with roads, um, maybe creating a new exit ramp along a highway or something like that. Um, the verb though, eminent domain is kind of the noun. That's the title um, of the government taking personal property for public use. The process in which they do that is called condemnation. That's the verb, um, but eminent domain and condemnation go together, okay? Condemnation is the process. A sheet is the process where the government takes all of your property because you passed away and you didn't leave any will and there's no found heirs to your property, personal or real. So the state takes it, but they've got a process that they use to prove what all you own, what the value is, and that there are not any heirs who are stepping forward to take claim of it. It's called a sheet. Think, oh, sheet, I didn't have a plan together and now the state's gonna take all my stuff now that I'm dead get a will, okay? Um, other government controls are going to be zoning and master plans. And zoning is going to be what types of properties can be built on that land. So zoning could be residential, commercial, industrial, agriculture, um, mixed use uh, could be something that is 
um, or special pur purchase, or sorry, special purpose could be churches, libraries, daycares, schools, libraries, um, your local municipality. Building codes, which we talked about this in the last section, um, these are going to probably be a general um, uniform trade, and then each city might have something a little specific to it. Um, building codes are meant for the safety of the public. They're meant to save you so you don't fall through your floor and break your leg or something worse. Okay, they're going to be what regulates um, having that CSST uh, gas line grounded. That's a new building code that came up in what, 2011 or 2012 that we'd never had before. Um, but that's again, grounding that uh, gas line that goes to hot water heater so that if it is struck by lightning, you don't blow your house up, right? But that's a new one that just came about. So they're constantly changing, okay? Um, regulation of special land types such as flood zones and wetlands. Um, I think that that one's probably going to be a pretty uh, generic um, in terms of uh, the exam. I would just know what a flood zone is and that if you buy property in flood zone, your lender is very well going to require you to carry special flood insurance. Okay. Uh, and then this talks a little bit about a regulation of environmental hazards. Um, and what I think is really going to be blended into this, uh, that we're going to hold this, is really our discussion around uh, property uh, condition. Um, this is going to be like groundwater hazard protection. Um, I know I use that acronym GW Bush quite a bit. Groundwater, wells, burial sites, underground storage tanks. Uh, sewer and septic system, and then the H is hazardous waste. Um, next up, we have private controls. And we've really kind of hit this already with these deed restrictions. Um, and again, deed restrictions are different than building codes. Building codes um, are by your local municipality for safety. Um, deconstructions and restrictions is going to be how you use the property um, and a lot of architectural and style types of stipulations. Deed conditions and restrictions cannot call out people, okay? That is a violation of the Fair Housing Act now. Um, so it's got, it's going to be about the property and again, how it's used, okay? HOA, you might, um, HOA, that's a homeowners association. You might see that acronym as well. Covenants, conditions, and restrictions. Again, that acronym is CCNRs. Um, that wraps up land use controls for you. And up next, we'll talk about valuation and market analysis. <laughs> 